Royce, as one of the vets in the league and you've been around, what's just your overall message to the team as you guys kind of go through this stretch of just having some tough games where you guys haven't been able to close out? Uh, I think just basically staying together. I mean, uh, I think, you know, each game, like you could say, like, blowing leads or whatever, but I mean, I think overall we're getting better, like learning from, you know, what we can do good, better in situations, how we can avoid situations. And I think just game by game, just, you know, seeing how we can see what little things we got to change to, like, come out successful and get these wins. At shoot around, did you guys watch back that Knicks fourth quarter at this morning? Uh, I mean, we did yesterday. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, we got a couple open looks, a couple turnovers hurt us. And then, uh, you know, them, you know, getting rebounds and leaking out. But, I mean, a little stuff that we can fix. And then, you know, just got to pay attention to the details later on in those situations. How do you help the guys not get too frustrated about this? Because obviously, if the losses keep adding up in a similar way, it can get a lot of heavy, get heavy on people's minds. Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, I mean, just for myself, I mean, me being going through it, uh, I mean, we all think, at some point in our career, went through a little stretch of, you know, losing. But I, I don't think that makes or breaks you. I think it just, you know, seeing how you can overcome it, build build on it, and just keep getting better. And then I guess what, when you see how these fourth quarters have been, how do you, what common things are you seeing that where, you know, whether there's team switching or shots not falling, what, what common things are you seeing that's kind of been some of the problems? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's a couple problems. I mean, we make a couple of those shots at the end, you know, a couple things go our way. It's a whole different game. We win those games. Uh, I mean, we're right there, and you know, coming to the last possession of every game. So I think you know we're doing something right to be in the game at least. And I think just you know executing down the stretch and winning. Is it also frustrating too? Because I guess Jock said before the year you guys be in a lot of close games, so you would think that experience would help. But is it frustrating that, that experience hasn't helped as much as you thought it would maybe these last few games in January? Uh, I mean. Can't really base it off that. I mean, like I said, they go one way or the other. I mean, if we won those games, nobody would really be saying anything. Uh, I mean, it's just the fact that we lost them. So, I mean, like at the beginning, I say we was gonna be in the games, you know, all coming down to the stretch, and it's just how we finish them. Is it encouraging at least that the team is still coming out strong through the first? You know, really, I mean, playing hard for all 48 minutes is it a sign that? You know, the team hasn't, not given up, it was a little extreme, but you know, I stuck with it. For sure, I mean, we fight in every possession. Uh, I mean, all 48 minutes, it's just maybe we might have a minute or two stretch where we can't let things, you know, take over or, you know, keep lingering on. We just gotta think about it and keep, move on. And then part of that obviously is the bench unit that you've been a part of a lot, uh, like with the three guards, comes in in the second quarter and has won a lot of minutes. Just what positives are you seeing from that group? I mean, we just picking up off the, you know, starters' energy. Uh, we know coming in the game, we got to bring a lot of energy, especially on the defensive end. And then, you know, just play together as a team, play the right way. Cam Johnson mentioned the other night about how in that fourth quarter, there's times where you guys are just changing the way you guys are playing. Is there anything that you've seen specifically that, what changes that you guys have made that you guys aren't kind of getting away from the, your normal standard? Uh, I mean, I, I think just adjusting. Um, game by game, uh, quarter by quarter. I mean, we're doing a lot of great things offensively and defensively um, to keep us in these games to be up by a lot throughout the whole game. And I think it's just over the season, just keep building on those. You guys have the Timberwolves tonight, and you're taking on a couple of your former teammates. When you watch the film and what they've been able to do this season, what stands out about the success that, that they've had and what's going to be needed for tonight? Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, Rudy and Mike. I mean, those guys, you know, had, you know, a great couple of years together. Uh, I mean, I'm happy for their success. Uh, I'm definitely going to block Rudy tonight. So, you know, and then I'll probably dunk on him. And then Mike, you know, uh, might shoot a three over him, cross him up. But, uh, I mean, just to see how those guys are playing. I mean, they're doing great. Uh, I mean, I still talk to them all the time, so. Um, I think you overlapped for at the end of your last year in Utah with Nikhil Alexander-Walker. He's really like become a reliable contributor for them. What have you seen, or how have you kept up with him? Just your feelings about him. You just mentioned. Him. Yeah, I mean, I mean, even when he came to Utah, I mean, uh, great dude. I mean, great basketball player. I mean, uh, just see his success and where he started, you know, to where he is now. I'm happy for him. I mean, uh, he works hard every day. Uh, I mean, that's what he do, and then you know, so.